All right, so boom. I've been at my desk for about the past two weeks, and I've been thinking, what's the best way that I can represent myself? Could it be through my clothing? Could it be through my beliefs? Or could it be through the camera when I record? Or maybe a combination of everything. Who am I for real? Well, I'm glad you asked. You too. Let's get right to it. 1.39 in the morning. So who am I? If you know me, you know me. If you don't, well, you'll know me at some point. So at that point, I would like to go by the name of well-known alias. Oxymoron, right? Now to those who know me, they know that I'm a God-fearing man that likes to dress good for sure and I like to take the camera with me wherever I go and that camera could be to record with things that I do or the things that people around me do now what do people around me do now one thing we will do is eat good me personally I love brunch but it could be dinner brunch whatever you want to call it we will make a time and date and we'll get together and eat good for sure then we have basketball I definitely played back in middle school, but then life hit me in high school. But I still had love for the game, so why wouldn't I record my good men playing ball, whether it be in the morning or whether it be some late runs at night? It worked out perfectly. I could get to see their highlights and their lowlights. Come on now. And then we have the interviews, like with my man Kendall, who's the founder and owner of Only Angels Advocates. Now we talked about life, talked about the clothing, talked about different money moves for 2022. But the one thing I messed up on, majority of it was recorded on my iPhone. Now what I failed to realize was only one speaker works. But I'm running it back over again with cutthroat and no order. See the thing is they're doing a fashion show, Christmas Eve, tickets in the bio, go get them. But before the show, I definitely had to get an interview with my man Slice, founder and owner of Cutthroat. Now, what I can tell you is, he had a lot cooking up, and he let me in on a few little secrets of what's going on and what he had planned for the fashion show. And the way I'm going to put this shirt, the look that's going to be for this shirt, it's like, this show is going to be monumental. From the pieces to the production to the, the artists. Everything we got going on this shit. Shit about to be so, so different. Like, it's hard to explain. You just gotta, you gotta be there. Like, you just gotta witness this shit. Like, some shit just can't now the best part about this whole entire fashion show was learning how it started now if you know how it started you know but if you don't know look let's run the tape back transcribe from all right so like kale already wanted to do a show but during that time you know supposed to be a versus going on so I was supposed to be doing the verses and there's a lot that went into that like a lot of a lot of extra a lot of drama a lot of getting on live you can't really just bake with five pieces like, <laughs> like I just want your website like you got five pieces like Bro, five? You said I only got five? Five is crazy. You said I only five. got five? Everybody popping these shit, all that. So, after that died down, then, you know, the verses was no more. So, Kel, like, man, let's get this show popping. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, look, if you want to see the rest of the interview, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Well Known Alias, my first video, I'm signing out, and you know my motto, do whatever it takes to get your eight hours back.